Hello everybody, in this video we're gonna talk about the sum and difference pattern. So we look at this example here at the very top, we have x plus three times x minus three. So in order for us to use the sum and difference pattern, we have to have the same terms in the binomial, okay? So here we have x on both terms and we also have a three on both terms, okay? Now, one of our binomials needs to be addition and one needs to be subtraction. So in order for us to use the sum and difference pattern, this is how it needs to be set up. So let's just act as if we were gonna foil x plus three times x minus three to see if we can come up with a pattern that we would use when we're presented with a sum and a difference binomial like this. So if we're gonna foil, we're gonna say x times x would be x squared, x times negative three would be negative three x, three times x would be positive three x, and three times negative three would be negative nine. So if we go to combine our like terms, notice what happens in the middle. Our x terms cancel out. So we're just left with x squared minus nine as our final answer. So if we go back to our original two binomials, we can identify each term as a and b, right? So if I say, okay, x is a and three is b. So what did we do to x and three to end up with x squared minus nine? Well, we took a and we squared it and we took b and we squared it and we had a subtraction in the middle. So our sum and difference pattern is just a squared minus b squared. Okay, so that's our pattern. We're gonna apply that on a couple examples here and just remember you can always check by foiling. Okay, so here we have x plus eight times x minus eight. So there's a and there's b. So this should be x squared minus eight squared, which is x squared minus 64. And that's our final answer. So let's check that by foiling. So if we foil here at the top, we would say x times x would be x squared, x times negative eight would be negative eight x, eight times x would be plus eight x, and eight times negative eight would be negative 64. And notice there in the middle, our like terms would cancel out. So we're left with x squared minus 64, which is what we got from our sum and difference pattern. And the last one, four x plus y and four x minus y. So we can say four x squared minus y squared. So remember whenever you have a monomial that is a constant or has, excuse me, a coefficient and a variable, give that exponent to both of those terms. So this would be 16x squared minus y squared, okay? So once again, we could check by foiling, 4x times 4x would be 16x squared, 4x times negative y would be minus 4xy, and then we have y times 4x, so plus 4xy, and then lastly, y times negative y would be minus y squared, and our terms in the middle there cancel out. So we are left with 16x squared minus y squared. Okay, and that's how you use the sum and difference pattern to multiply binomial, binomials uh, that are x plus three, x minus three, or just binomials that have the same two terms, a and b, and one is addition and one is subtraction.